So let's go ahead and prove that um, triangle BAD is congruent to triangle CAD, even though clearly my drawing is not 100% to scale. Um, bear with me on that one. All right, so let's start with what we know. So first off, they gave us here that um, AB and AC are congruent. Um, and that was just given. And they also told us that um, AD bisects angle BAC. Cool. So those are the things that we know. And from this particular piece here, we can very easily say, well, AD, they say, okay, so this segment is bisecting angle BAC. So if it's bisecting it, then they're also telling us that these two angles here are congruent. So let's go ahead and make note of that. So I've made note of that in my diagram, and I've also listed that here, and I'll go ahead and put the reason for that. That's just the definition of an angle bisector. Whenever um, something is like so obvious that it's like, duh, um, half the time you're just gonna say that it's the definition of that. It's actually a pretty cool little trick. All right, now, before we move on, that's all the simple stuff. Let's kind of try to come up with a game plan here. And so how might we prove this? Okay, well, let's think about this. So far, we've only learned two possible ways of proving that triangles are congruent, and that is either side angle side theorem, or postulate, or the side 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 postulate. Now, looking at this, um, they did give me an angle, and so I'm gonna go ahead and think, I'm probably looking for side angle side. Um, Again, I don't know, but I'm just gonna kinda pull that thread and see where it goes. Um, and so I have one pair of congruent sides, and so if I was gonna go ahead and this was gonna be side, angle, side, that would be side, angle, side. Oh, you know what, this is a shared side. I am acting like I'm surprised. Of course, I knew that <laughs> that's where this is going. But we now can see that we have side, angle, side here. Perfect. That's it. So I'm going to make note of that um, as my second um, little thing here, and that is that AD is congruent to itself. Both of them have AD in that, and you can see that both of them have AD in them. You can see that there. And that one is actually the reflexive property. Um, as far as I'm concerned, if you just say everything is congruent to itself, that's totally legit. Um, but now based off that, we now can say, well, we do in fact know that these are congruent. Um, triangle BAD is congruent to triangle CAD, and that is just by the side angle side postulate. And we have verified that um, all, our, all those conditions, um, and we can see our work clearly laid out here and in our diagram. So we've now proved that triangle BAD is congruent to triangle CAD.